Hello Year 8 Mathematicians and uh, welcome to the third lesson of the week on standard form. So once again, underline the work you've done previously, today's date and the title will be Investigate Negative Powers of 10. So your do now task is to see can you find a path from the top left 6 to the bottom right 0 0.06 and you're not allowed to make diagonal moves. You're going to go horizontally or vertically to see if you can get all the way from 6 to 0 0.06. Okay, pause the video, have a go, and I'll show you a route that I found earlier. Okay, now I imagine there's several different ways you could do this, zigzagging back on yourself and going, well, this was the route I chose. Some of you may have gone the same way I say, but there could have been plenty of other solutions. Just a little practice. To get you moving around with place value of dividing by and multiplying by 10 once again. So for today we're going to explore how to create very small numbers, follow the rules of negative powers of standard form and then be able to work between standard form fractions and decimals and the word between there is spelt awfully so I'll get that updated. Okay so first of all a lovely fill in the blanks this has been a bit of a theme for this so you're going to write down exactly what appears on the screen there and you're going to fill in those blanks those X's, um, those are your blanks as well. For some reason, they just haven't got a box around them. And then at the end, Dora the Explorer has come out with if 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, there's a little hint from the middle there, does that mean that any number to the power of 0 equals 1? So if you complete all of those blanks and where it's got X's, you need to fill in the answer and see if you can follow the pattern for all of those and start to investigate those negative powers for me. Okay, so first box, 10 to the power of 3, we know it's 10 times 10 times 10, we should get 1,000. Then we can see the powers are decreasing by 1. We've got 10 to the power of 3, then to the power of 2. So the next one would be 10 to the power of 1. We know that 10 to the power of 0, as we mentioned in a previous lesson, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, and that's what Dora means on the right-hand side there. Any number you put to the power of 0 will be 1. After 10 to the power of 0, we've got 10 to the minus 1. And that is the same as writing as 1 divided by 10 to the power of 1. And then you'll see the pattern, 10 to the minus 2, 1 divided by 10 to the power of 2, then 1 divided by 10 to the power of 3. Okay, And this is where we're going to make sure we practice on our place value for getting tens units and then going into tenths, hundredths, and then the last one. Thousandth, that is one thousandth. Okay. So time to match the equivalent cards and write then a different card for each. So we can see on the previous slide there we've got three numbers. So we've got an ordinary number in terms of on the 10 to the minus 2, we've got the 10 to the minus 2 as standard form, then we've left it as a fraction, 1 over 100, then we've got the decimal 0 0.01. So there are sort of three main methods to write it. On this one, I'd like you to match up the cards. So that top four, one of those will match with each of the bottom four below, and then you're going to write out either a decimal, standard form, or fraction to show a third way for writing each one. Okay, there's one of our pairs, and we could rewrite that as we've got the standard form and fraction as a decimal, that would be a tenth, 0 0.1. And then the other one's print. That one I've just shown a little bit more. On this one, 10 to the minus 5 times 10 to the power of 3. Now, if you can remember back, I think this is in the first lesson of the week. If we are multiplying our powers and they've got the same base, the base being 10 in this case, then you add the powers. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. So it would be 10 to the power of minus 2, which we know from the previous one is 1 divided by 10 squared. That is 1 over 100 or 0 0.01. 10 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 0. 10 to the power of 0 is 1, so that's just 1 times 10 to the 3, which is just 10 to the 3. 1 over 10 to the 3 is the same as 10 to the minus 3, which is then the same as 1 thousandth. Okay. So well done if you managed to match up all those four and write down the additional information. So everyone's favourite symbols here, we have got the inequality symbols. So you're going to either write they are less than, greater than or equal to. So at the moment they're all down as equal signs, you're going to need to correct those. 
So which is smaller out of 10 to the power of 3 and 10 to the power of 4? And fill in the inequality statements there for me. Okay, so we should get two ways again to read inequalities. You could say 10 to the power of 3 is less than 10 to the power of 4. Or reading from right to left, 10 to the power of 4 is greater than 10 to the power of 3. But the symbol has to go in as it appears there. And then those are the remaining ones for you. Okay. Now, another one of these that I like as well. Put these numbers in order of size, starting with the largest. So you're going to put the largest number first, moving your way through to the smallest. Now, as we mentioned before, there are eight here, but they've all been written in different formats. Okay, so my suggestion and hint to you would be to get them all looking the same. Either get them all into standard form with their powers, get them all as fractions, or get them all as decimals. Whichever you choose is up to you, but that will make your job far, far easier to order them. And often in, in an exam, you may pick up a mark if you've written them all in the same format first and then made an error after it. Okay, so if you pause it there and see if you can sort those eight for me. Okay, so start with the largest. Obviously, it is 10 to the power of 3. Okay, we got 1,000. Next up is just 10 on its own. 10 to the power of 0 would be 1. 1 tenth, if we're going with decimals, 0 0.1. 100 divided by 10,000, we've got is 0 0.01. 1 thousandth, 0 0.001. And then 0 0.0001. And the last one, I'm not going to go through all the zeros, but we should recognise that as it's got the largest negative figure. That's going to be the one that's the smallest number by far there. Okay, so just a quick reminder on standard form. Standard form is a number between 1 and 10. But remember, we cannot include 10. It must be 1 or larger but less than 10, multiplied by a power of 10. And what we're going to say now, previously, we only looked at positive powers of 10. So like 2.2 times 10 to the power of 6, that created large numbers. We're going to look at now negative powers, which go the opposite way and create a small number. So perhaps like the size of an atom. So the idea of standard form could to include negative powers of 10. And these are used for very small numbers, such as the figure there, which can be written as 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Now, I'm going to show on the screen here with hopefully some cutting edge animations to show how we move that decimal point for you. So here's our large figure. Okay, the white circular decimal point I've added in, and that's going to be where we get the first bit from. So we first need a number between 1 and 10. So I've gone 6.67. There's no other alternatives. We can't have 66.7, and we can't have 0.667. So 6.67 as our starting point. And then if we watch that white decimal point I've put in there and then count, we've moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 places we have moved it. So we are going to move it to the left 11 places. And there's our power, minus 11, because we've moved it 11 places. So it's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Make sure that I know we've looked at the fractions where it's 1 over earlier, it's always going to be a multiplication. It's always times 10 to the power. It's just we use a negative power rather than positive. Don't go changing that into a divide sign rather than a multiplication. Okay. A couple more examples, and I think the animation has gone a little bit out on a couple of these, but we'll see how they go. So the blue dots are the ones I've added in as a bonus. So we've asked 0 0.076 to go into standard form. So first things first, get a number between 1 and 10, 7.6. Then how far have we moved that decimal point? We have moved it 1, 2, so it's times 10 to the power of minus 2. Okay. Next one, 0 0.00542. Get your number between 1 and 10, 5.42. Then how far have we moved the decimal point? We have gone 1, 2, 3. 3 this time, so it's 10 to the power of minus 3. And the last one, we 
we're going to go with our number between 1 and 10 is 5.87. How far is decimal point moved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So times 10 to the power of minus 5. Okay. Make sure you have got these examples down and those on the previous slide. You need to get that information down where it says copy me as well, please. Okay. Now, you're going to have a go at those questions on your screen for me. Now, there is quite a lot to get through, but it's all about getting that format right. Just pay attention towards the end. I have snuck in some that maybe don't require negative powers of 10. But if you write out the question, show you're working there for how you've done it. It might just be you want to move your pen to see how far you've moved that decimal point and then write down some answers for me and we'll mark those in a moment. Okay, I hope you had a good at those. Those are the answers as appearing on the screen for you now. Like I say, just pay careful attention to in particular M, N and P as those actually were our positive powers of 10. Snuck in a few ones there just to keep you on your toes. So, a little bit of a recap on three quickfire questions then. You're going to write the first one as a fraction. Then the second one, what's that going to be as a positive power? And then the third one as a negative power. But there is a bonus hidden fourth question in there where you can correct one of those questions for me because I don't like the look of one of those questions. So that's your bonus fourth mark in there for me. So first up, 10 to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over 10 to the power of 1. 10 to the power of 1 is 10, so that's just a tenth. Next one, 4 times 10 squared. 10 squared is 100, so it's 4 times 100, 400. Last one, 90 times 10 to the minus 3. If you think about that decimal point, we're going to be moving that three places. 0 0.09, and the bonus mark for that last one is well done for those who spotted it. This isn't in standard form as we need that first number to be between 1 and 10, but less than 10. It's 90, that's too much. So we should create that to 9. And anyone that's corrected that, 9 times 10 to the minus 2. Excellent work for anyone that spotted it and who corrected that as well. So once again, there is a worksheet that accompanies this. If you have a go through the worksheet, um, and check as well on Hegarty, they've got a few clips to look at and some quizzes. Then when you've had to go to the worksheet, mark it with the answers, come back on here, and I think there's five true or false questions that we'll have a race through as well. Okay, so true or false, once again, if you just pause it when I put up the statement, decide whether it's true or false. If you think it's false, see if you can correct the answer there as well for me. So first up. 9.987 divided by 10 to the minus 3 is in standard form. That is false. As we said earlier, we're not using the division sign. The minus 3 tells us we're making it a smaller number. We don't need the division as well. It's still multiplied. So it would be 9.987 times by 10 to the minus 3 would be a nice standard form for us. 3.3 times 10 to the minus 2, I'm saying is 3,300. Is that true or false? Okay, once again, that is false. If it was 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of 2, then we'd be looking at a different story there. But it's minus 2, so we're going smaller. So the decimal point should have gone to the left, and we'd have ended up with 0 0.033. Okay. Third one, 0 0.0078 is equal to 7.8 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, is that correct? This one would be true. If you think of placing on the left-hand side there on the 0 0.0078, the decimal point between the 7 and the 8, how far have you moved it? 1, 2, 3 places to the left. That's minus 3, so it would be 7.8 times 10 to the minus 3. Fourth one. 3 times 10 to the 0 equals 1. Is that true or is that false? Well, I think this one I put deliberately to see if I can catch out a few people. That is false. We've said all along anything to the power of 0 is 1. So absolutely 10 to the power of 0 is 1. But then we need to multiply it by 3 after. Bid mass, do your indices first. So it's 3 times 1. 
The answer should be 3 in that case. And the last one, 10 to the power of minus 2 is the same as 1 divided by 100, or a fraction 1 over 100. That one is true. So it's the same as writing 1 over 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. 1 over 100. Great stuff if you got those right. I'd be very, very happy if anyone got all five of those for me. Hopefully we got the bulk of those right. Just make sure, as I say, you do the Hecate just to uh, solidify the learning there. And thanks again for listening and look after yourselves year eight and speak to you again, hopefully very soon then.